Yep, yeah, huh? My name's Elizabeth, but you can call me Liz, and in today's video, it's gonna be a $300 Yes Style haul based on clothes that are outside of my comfort zone. Also, I forgot to film my intro, so I like like this now. So if you wanna see that, keep on watching. But first, let's enter it. Like, it usually takes them two weeks, but this shit took a month. <gasps> but it's finally here! Like, honestly, I had forgotten I had even ordered it. So, yeah, I forgot it. I had forgotten that I ordered this shit because it's been a month. And usually, YesDial is, like, really good with their, like, shipping and stuff like that. But I think it's because I got it when there was a sale going on and, like... I got some more popular items. But finally it's here! Oh, yeah, finally. So, I can finally do a review for you. And I got this video idea by Naomi. So what's good, what's poppin' Naomi? I hope you're doing good. So for this haul, Naomi told me to pick more clothes that were like out of my comfort zone. So usually I'm someone who wears like a lot of dark colors and stuff like that. So she asked me like, oh, can you do like a yes style haul? But with like things out of your comfort zone. And I thought long and hard and I was like, hmm, I don't actually know what's like out of my comfort zone. Like, hmm, I don't know. I thought last, the last haul was pretty out of my comfort zone because like, there were some booty shorts. There was some like, you were about to be Tatiana. Sorry, Tatiana. Not Tatiana, but Tat. Like you, you a real thought, you know, you feel me? But apparently, I, was, I, I looked comfortable. Okay. So I was like, I looked at my closet and I was like, out of my comfort zone. What is out of my comfort zone? And I noticed that like most of my clothes are black or like dark colors. Even this like whole outfit is pretty like dark colors. So I added some more like colorful shit that I wouldn't actually normally wear on a daily basis but I still made sure to add stuff that I will actually wear so not just like oh I may or may not wear this but things that I will actually wear on a day-to-day -day basis and like I've known I had some of my friends like describe my style as more like quote-unquote swaggy and I was like I mean, I do love streetwear, like Supreme Skull Candy, like Skull Candy Senpai notice me, like I will do a commercial for Skull Candy. <gasps> oh my god. If Skull Candy, any Skull Candy, like official Japan, Korea, any Skull Candy, Mexico, like follows me on Instagram, I feel like my soul would leave my body, like I love Skull Candy. And like I also love Supreme. And stuff like that so I really do like street brand street wear or like so I was like oh okay so it's pretty like quote-unquote swaggy so I was like I got more like blouses more girly shit it's gonna be more like colorful or what I consider colorful and like more um classy girly so those are the items so let's go so we'll try them on and yada yada and yeah and also, thank you so much for like, re like a lot of people like commented on my last Yes Style video and like liked it and like, ah, that was so cool. Like, I honestly didn't think anyone would watch my videos, honestly. So like, 
that's like the video that has the most views and I'm like, whoa, that's a, that's a lot. So thank you so much. So we'll start with makeup. That way I don't have to do anything. So they're pretty much the same color. <laughs> so this one is the Rom and ND Juicy Lasting Tint. And it's number six in... Also, I want to know if this is like an anime or if it's just like the little character for that. And it looks like this. It's a little anime girl. A cute little peachy thing. It's a pretty flat applicator, I would say. It's very like watery, I guess you could say. This is a tint. And it looks like that. And then the other is a 3CE Con Mood Recipe 2 Matte Lip Color number 221 and Mellow Flower. And it looks like this. And it has also like a very rosy, dusty, pinky red, whatever color this is. So I think they're both of them are pretty similar in color. So that's all I got for makeup and stuff. So now let's get on to the clothing. Okay, so the first shirt is this ready stripe one with the theme. So let's try it out. And this is what it looks like. So it's just like a regular, I don't know what you call this, like a pinstripe shirt. Breathy, I think. So I don't know how much it'd be good for winter, but ooh, I think it's pretty. Uh, also, I am large for shirts. But medium fits me too, and size 9 for pants, so whatever that is in your country. And I am 5'5", five five. so whatever that is in centimeters. So this is the first shirt. Yeah, I like it. It's very thin. But like not too thin, not Korean thin, but thin. Which is this one. So just a regular shirt. I'm actually an idiot because like I have a shirt very extremely similar to this except the shirt I have the only thing that's different is that it's thicker. So again this like the red shirt is very thin. It's just a regular regular shirt. I feel like everyone could use a white shirt in their wardrobe just so you can have one it's very professional looking I don't know about this one maybe put a cardigan on it you got good fall so yeah it's good it's a bit thinner I did say I was gonna try more colors but like this spoke to me it has like the same eyes as like the Kakaguri um crazy chick from Kakaguri so yeah let's try this on Now this is more my style. So it's just like a simple black t-shirt. For some reason, I think like the girl that was wearing it, I thought it went all the way down to her like knees, but it's just like a regular schmegular t-shirt. It's very good with your material. I think it's not too thick, not too thin, just perfect. And this is just a black t-shirt. Perfect for where I'm doing shit. But like this thingy, this thingy is what I was like, yes. I'm pretty sure it's even the same girl from Kakaguri, like the crazy chick, like this one. Mm. My style, I like it. I would totally recommend it unless you like, don't like this shine ass bold print. So another t-shirt. And it's a cute little pink one and it has this thingy. Now, 
Let's try it. Either it's just another simple t-shirt, this dusty light pink one with the little heart thingy with this person. So I think this was one size and it fits, but like it's tighter than the other black one, which doesn't make sense. regular t-shirt. I think this t-shirt though is thicker than the black one. So that's something to have in mind. So if you're looking for a more like um, at home t-shirt, the black one works better than this one because I feel it's just like a little bit thicker than the black one. It's just a simple t-shirt so I don't know what else to say. This one. So I've seen like every like, I want to say Asian, but Asian, I don't want to say Asian, but Asian influencer on YouTube that has this shirt, like Stephanie Soul has this shirt, Woody Man, like everyone. I think even Kim Dao. So I was like, I want to be cool too. I couldn't resist. Let's try it on. <laughs> Am I cool now? Ta -da. It's just another t-shirt that says I'm cool. With <laughs> this little thingy. <laughs> tell you like every Asian influencer out there like has this and I'm like I want this so I think like the black one is the thinnest then this one and then the pink one is the thickest like material t-shirt And it's a white one this time, so technically it's color. Let's try the next one. This. Let's try it off. Ta -da. Ta -da. So this is just a dress, and it comes like a little above my knee. It looks like this. And it comes with this belt, but I think the belt is pretty useless. I think I like it better like this. And it's like a little sweater dress type of thing. And I think the material is kind of like thick thin. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, it's not really thick material, but it's not like super thin where it's like translucent. I also like the pretty little red color. I think maybe if you were taller, this would definitely come up a little higher, you know? But I feel like I can wear this as a dress. Probably wear some shorts underneath. It's like a really cute like little fall dress that you can wear. And obviously there are more colors, but I thought the red looked cute. I was gonna get yellow, but like it looked too... Like I would look dead. But yes. I really like this actually. <laughs> So this is the next shirt. It's like this purpley overshirt because I you have do you do have to wear an undershirt. I think a black undershirt would be better. It's like this cute little purpley overshirt. It is this cute little lilac-y pattern color, and it has little flower patterns in the little billowy sleeves around the shoulders, around the elbows, like a little like that sleeves. And it has the cold shoulder thingy. So I thought this is like a good shirt that you can wear out with your friends. But you can also wear it to work because it's like fancy enough to work but also casual enough with the little cold shoulder thingies and the weird ass sleeves that you can wear with your friends. I also thought like the little purpley color would look good with my skin tone or whatever. I also kind of don't, I like and I don't like these type of shirts because you do have to buy like another undershirt that you have to buy. And I like give you like that weird ass princess effect because of the material. It's very thin so maybe not the greatest for winter. Maybe spring, fall, I don't know about summer, probably not. So it's good and it's a 
purpley color that I don't have or have ever worn. What do you think? What do you buy this color? Is the reason why my damn order took a month. But this damn fucking shirt was the thing that took the f longest. <sighs> I'm so adored. So let's try the damn shirt. Sure. So this is the shirt. I don't even, like, what? I don't know what happened like, with this shirt, like... It looks so pretty on the model, but I don't I don't know what happened. So like this is really fucking bright for me. And also like I don't understand what's happening. And like the material feels like very like I don't I don't even know. Have you ever bought this? Did it go like this for you? I need answers. Okay. So let's try the other shirt, which I thought was also very bright. So Ta -da! <laughs> yeah, so this is like the other shirt that I said like it's out of my comfort zone because it's like super fucking bright and like this tealish blue color and it makes me feel slightly like a gangster if I'm being honest. Material that I feel like if you ever get sweaty it's just gonna stick to you. But I really like it also because like I'm a Mexican. He has Frida Kahlo and like all her stuff. I wouldn't have expected to find this in like an Asian website. I'm guessing it's because it's Brita Kahlo and she's like an unknown painter. Makes me feel a little like a gangster. A little like... Someone owes me money and they need to pay me right now. <laughs> no, just kidding. Would you ever buy this? Like something this vibrant and blue? <laughs> the one I actually usually wear. So let's try it. Now this is more my style. So it's like a regular bluish shirt. And it's cuffed at the arms over here. And it has this weird little white dragon design. I think it's like embroidered into it. And this annoying thing. So yeah. Now this is more my style. So it's not like a hoodie, but it's also not like something super thick. I think it's like a bit more thin. And it's like a good like something perfect for fall because it's like it keeps you warm but it's also something that's not too hot and not too cold. So I recommend it. This pinky one. Pinky one. So let's try. So this is another shirt and it's very similar to the purpley lilac one where you need an undershirt like it's a very pretty like dusty pink shirt i guess you could say and it like has this little elastic thingy at the wrist but my wrists are not here they are here and it has the little collar is also very like cinched i guess you could say you can like dress it up with a pair of jeans or a skirt it has like this weird like princess effect i feel like just because of the neckline because I feel like it's all cinched in and also because of the wrist so I feel like it still has that weird princess effect and makes you look very classy. Like yes, I'm a classy lady. You should listen to me. Like respect me. Well then, you're talking to your highness. <laughs> but like girl has to switch out her wardrobe so I can you know look professional and actually have a job and not die. Things that are good in life. I believe this is the second to last shirt. You're almost there to the pants. Keep going. And yeah, the china. So this is the next shirt. And again, it's something that I saw on Kindo and I was like, ooh, that looks cute. A bit like shikshi with the little like mesh things. Mesh lace with like the the weird little red white print. This is slightly itchy, just slightly. Not enough where it's like, oh no, but it's just slightly itchy. I think the color is great for fall, but like, I don't understand the back. Like, is that how it's supposed to be? Or like, am I am I wearing this wrong? I don't I don't understand. Obviously, I would never wear this to school, but like something to go out with friends that you can wear probably at night. 
what am I doing wrong? Like, is my neck not big enough? Is this what it is? Or is it supposed to be more to the side? I don't know if this is stitched in, but if it's like stitched in, like this thing is gonna fall. Like one wrong move in your like laundry or your dryer and you don't have any more lace. I don't know if I can pull this off. This shirt and then the last shirt. So, eh. so this is the next shirt. And it's this like half white, half black. I wish they had a little white pocket that way it'd be a little more symmetrical. But I really love like shirts like this that are a bit unique that you wouldn't see regular regular people wearing out in the streets of um, Gyeongju especially. Uh, I don't know what it is with me but like always, always anything that is white is always a bit translucent like I don't understand. They're literally the same like material type of thing. But the white is always more translucent. I don't understand. Like, is it because I have tan skin? Is this it? Um, I think probably if you were an extra large, you would have fit this. It's like large and it gives this much space. Uh, obviously, you're smaller, you'll be okay. Sometimes I feel like that's the kid with like everything has to be symmetrical. Like. Like this type of material and this type of material, black and white. Last shirt, let's go. Ta da! Okay, so this is actually not just a. So, this is not just actually just a shirt, it is a set. So, it comes with these pinky shirts, pinky shorts in this like white and I think there was also another color I got the large set I was I want to start working out again so I was like I need some workout clothes so this is like workout material clothes and just like regular pink shorts that you can work out with just a regular schmegular set just a t-shirt and shorts so I can work out so I can be fit more or less. Probably less. Pants. It. Ta da. So these are the first. I moved you to the ground. What's up? So these are the first pants, and they're black slacks. They're large. They fit like this. But like, they look so cool. Dee -dee 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 -dee. But yeah, they're like a very thin material. I wouldn't say this material stick, there's very thin. So like I said, I'm size nine. Uh, I have no hips, no birth, no birthy hips right here, no ass, and I have a good side. So So these are the next ones and they're like this weird jeggy material. Cause it's like stretchy around here. It has this weird has this weird little elastic thingy all around this weird little square but they're supposed to be like jeggings type of thing but i've never felt this material before like lives actually i once had a pair of really like scratchy black slacks and they feel like this little and i ordered size large and they seem to be good they seem stretchy by the other black slacks that i have so these are the other black slacks that I got. Obviously compared to the first ones, these are way better. They're like a bit looser around the ends. Obviously there's still like this much difference between this and my ankle. This also material also feels so much better. Why? Why do you do that? Do I look like I have something capable enough? No. Why would you do that to me? Regular black slacks, stretchy. Oh, yeah. Let's try them. So these are the famous minus five kilogram jeans. And these shits actually come with like their own like verification shit. Like, so I get I I got this like when they were the sale, and instead of like forty dollars, they were like twenty dollars, so half price I believe. And these are thirty, and they fit perfectly. 
they're tight enough that they're like, my legs look cool and amazing. But they're also loose enough that I can still be able to move and be able to breathe. Being able to breathe is what it's, it's important. Feel me? So those are the clothes that I have for you. I know it probably wasn't as colorful as you would have expected. I don't know if this is what you were expecting or if you had clothes in mind that I should try out. So if you do, send me a message, girl. Yeah. So I also wanted to choose items that I would actually wear in real life and not just for a video because that seems kind of pointless. What do you wear any of these clothes? Do you think they were more out of my comfort zone than the, the other guest style video? I'm still trying to figure out how to, I can make a video of clothes because I feel like it's so awkward just like, I don't know, standing and trying on things. Mm -hmm. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see more photos of me wearing clothes like this. Honestly, I would totally wear this out. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Maybe the only thing I wouldn't wear out is that weird ass orange shirt. Comment, which one would you wear? And or are any of these clothes out of your comfort zone? Or is this just basically your style? You're like, girl, what the fuck? Comment, like this video if you want more yes style videos. What can I do? Um, Probably something, I do need more jackets or like cardigans or a hoodie. Accessories, maybe. We can do accessories. Um, shoes, I haven't tried, I've only tried two pairs of shoes from YesStyle. Um, shoes, accessories, stuff like that, I guess. Hmm, if there's like any other brand, because I tried American brands. Like I wanted to buy something from what was it? Fashion Nova. But like they don't ship to South Korea. And I'm so annoyed. But like if there's another website that you think I should try on. Try out. Try on. Whatever. Link it down below. Remember, I like cheap stuff. I go for sales. So if you are linking down below something that's like one shirt is 50, I'm going to be like, no. Adios. Subscribe down below to my channel. If you want more random shit, that's what I'm here for, for folks, to provide you with random shit that can be sometimes entertaining and or informational. Informative. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you next time. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me.